Hey there folks, TJ Fink here, and I am about to unbox the new Hemiway Zebra, which, um, oh, you know, this might be the biggest unboxing I've ever done. And judging by this end of the box, it looks like there might be an actual zebra trying to fight its way out of here. So uh, let's fact check that real quick. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, little buddy, I'm coming to help you. I'm coming to save you. Well, boy, oh boy, not making it easy here. like uh, we've got some assembly required here. Um, all right, I got some accessories in there, looks like. The bike itself is mostly put together, but it looks like I'm gonna have to see what I need to assemble myself and see what tools I need. So stay tuned. All right. Now that the easy part's over, let's get into it. So, when this bad boy arrived at my doorstep in that bulky, bulky box, I was a little concerned that uh, I might have to teach myself to be an amateur bike mechanic just to put this thing together. But, once I got the box open, I was pleasantly surprised to find that it's not so much assembly required as it is assemblies mostly been done for me. And once I'd gotten rid of all those pesky, pesky zip ties, with the extra cardboard and plastic, well, it was really just a matter of installing the front tire, hooking up the handlebar and electronics, and adjusting a few other things before I'm ready to hit the road. All right, guys, I would say that this zebra is officially unboxed, although there is one more box left for this particular unboxing, and that include some of the tools that I'm gonna need to put this bad boy together. And I think that's simply going to entail attaching the handlebars to the frame and hooking up the electronics. And let's see here, attaching this front wheel to the frame as well, along with the splash guard. Probably uh, adjusting the sizing of my new hat that came with this particular unboxing. And then I think I just have to charge up my little zebra and I'm ready to hit the planes. But uh, now, stay tuned for my next adventure. So, as an elder millennial, I grew up ripping around my family farm on gas-powered vehicles. You know, like uh, tractors, four-wheelers, three-wheelers, back when they were still legal, snowmobiles. But uh, mountain biking was one of my favorite activities to do when I ran out of gas, and the idea of an electric dirt bike, mountain bike hybrid was uh, completely unheard of to 12-year-old TJ. And that's essentially what we're looking at right now. So the very first thing that you're going to notice about this bike is the bulky frame. And uh, you can see as I'm putting it together, I have to move it around a little bit, make sure it doesn't fall on my toes. But this thing is uh, almost 80 pounds, and that aluminum frame is deliberately made uh, with double the thickness of a traditional aluminum bike frame. And uh, to just give you a little bit of a comparison, my Jameis Coda Sport road bike that I usually use to rip around town in clocks in under 30 pounds. So this bike is literally almost triple the weight of a uh, normal road bike. And that's something you're gonna wanna keep in mind um, before you make the purchase, just what your lifestyle is, uh, you know, where you have to put it. Obviously this would be great for any garage, but I'm an apartment dweller in New York City. And if I didn't have an elevator that would fit uh, this bike inside it, this would not be a practical vehicle for me to have in New York City just because I uh, wouldn't be able to get it up the stairs <laughs> and I might not have anywhere to put it. But thankfully, I do. And so uh, once I got it out of the box, it was just a matter of uh, putting that front tire on, making sure there's not any friction between the tire itself and the brake disc. 
um, installing that one splash guard, hooking up the headlamp and the other electronics with the handlebar. And that's just about it. And now we're ready to, well, what did I say before? Hit the planes. All right, from snipping the first zip ties to tightening the screws and the splash guards, it only took me about an uh, eh, hour, hour and a half to fully assemble the Hemiway Zebra. Most of the bike is assembled in the box that it came in, but uh, there's just one problem here. If you take a look at the electronics and uh, we pull up that speedometer, I can't help but notice we're going zero miles an hour. We're gonna have to fix that, folks. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for a full official test drive.